Well, a very good morning. Welcome to the Buzz UG. And if it's your first time right here, kindly subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is Melads Milo, aka Fuller. Now, starting off with what's coming in from uh, the NUP camp. Some people that support and follow the president of NUP, His Excellency Robert Chagulanyi Sentamu, are not happy after he cautioned them against bashing and abusing Buganda Kingdom leaders. Bobby Wine says such actions of impunity doesn't represent the ideology and the agenda of NUP as a party. Uh, Bobby Wine says even if it's right to demonstrate as a way of expressing grief of the irregularities happening right here in the country, but it's totally wrong to utter statements bashing and abusing dignitaries and other sections of Ugandans. <laughs> Nenga yamba de nkopira za za people power ne bilala nenga tayi nenge lije communicating nga etatuwesa chitibwa era nenge gansi nzire wanonga tuwerekera msaja wa kabako no mbasa benki banange nebo mba mo ikalakasa nebo mba mo ogera ebaluma mu wale nyo okuvola kubanga kija kubika te message e ya mani je mogeza ko communicating Tuna kuna nizo wa kuteka uwe chifana na nyecho e Chituwe se chitigo Atena ukuigiriza haba batu kovedi la kubatu liba kule mbeze Tosu wala kumanya wa mtu kameka Mbo influencing Kule ebituwe se chitigo Ebuwe sanya fe Uganda chitigo Ebuwe se guanga la fe Uganda chitigo Nebuwe sa continent ya fe Afrika chitigo Mkate wa fumuga vendugwa Umu la mirembe We can only speak now Na tuja gena maso Kula venga terezi guanga la fe well, there you go. That is uh, His Excellency Bobby Wine, the president of NUP. I must say he's trending so big time on social media because of that post that he put up. Some of his supporters are saying, no, Mr. President, you did wrong. And others are saying, no, Mr. President was right. <laughs> so I don't know where which side we should go with. But yeah, that is what is coming in from uh, the NUP camp. Well, in other news... Uh, we all know the violence that has been meted on civilians by security forces right here in Uganda. Many leaders and uh, members of the public have been concerned about this violence. Now, recently, President Museveni was in an interview with an international media house called World is One News, and he revealed to the international community that the opposition in Uganda is to blame for the violence that has been happening between civilians and the security forces. Uh, President Museveni said that the opposition attack innocent people whenever they demonstrate. However, a section of the public have called President Museveni the most deceitful president Uganda has ever had. Uh, they are saying that President Museveni and his cronies in government are the chiefs of violence in Uganda, not the opposition, as he says. Well, in the same interview, President Museveni denied claims that have been making rounds on different platforms that he said Uganda is already a middle-income country. Well, Museveni said that he didn't say that Uganda is already a middle-income country, but he meant that Uganda is almost into a middle-income status. It should be remembered that World Bank recently in a new report said that Uganda remains a low-income status and this was after President Museveni and his Minister of Finance, Horrible Matiaka Saija, revealed to Ugandans that Uganda is already a middle-income country. So I should say, lately President Museveni says statements and later changes them after heavily criticized by the public. I don't know what you think about this news, but that's it from Bobby Wine and President Museveni's camp. I'm following up on everything that's happening in the country and trust me, I'll keep you posted. What you have to do, subscribe to the Buzz UG in case you haven't and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is Melads Milo, aka Fula. Thank you. Thank you.